That's right, I'm back in the belly of the beast, and Gintama is a funny one because no matter what it throws at me, I keep coming back for more. I would make an analogy about being addicted, but I'm pretty sure YouTube would not approve. But we know it's true. So, shall we carry on where we left off with marriage proposals? Maybe. And then starts the the hard, arduous task of reclaiming her. And just how much... How much silver... Uh, not silverware. Chinaware dishes... And I wouldn't be surprised if actually silverware got involved as well, yeah. I'll use a son of a bitch to beat a son of a bitch, apparently. And it... Is it surprising? Is it strange at all that they're using a, a dojo battle and wagering the future of someone on... on their sword skills. But it is kind of the way that things have played out in the in throughout history actually. And this is somewhat loosely based in a time period that would be all for that kind of action. And I'm... I'm wondering when they're going to pull back some old characters that are only done once. Like the... I think she was a princess that was that met Kagura. Yeah, it's going to need some remodelling. Yeah, how could this happen? <laughs> I mean, it was a own goal, kind of. The treating is treating him as though he's dead. <laughs> Maybe not show that evidence. Mo yeah. <sighs> you aren't smart smart enough to wonder why he crushed that cell phone. Are they tr arguing over which is best, mayonnaise or ketchup? Mm. 
I prefer the cordial sit-down meal than breaking my leg and smashing my face on the ceiling beams. They're fighting it out in their own way. You see, if it was anyone else, they'd be phased by his choice of condiment, well, at least the amount of it. Okay, yeah, that's... Oh, okay. I don't particularly like tomatoes either, actually. I used to hate them, but ketchup's fine, because it doesn't taste like tomatoes. Mayonnaise. <laughs> but does he actually... Is that a bit of a lie, though? Hmm. You're not possibly done with just that, though, right? A good block. Is he going to take a take the time to smoke as well while fighting? It is nice to see them actually doing somewhat well for once, considering all of the major failings of the Shinsengumi. It's fine, just don't expose the dish. How many steps ahead have they all planned? Well, he is skilled at reading people, isn't he? So with and this now with his fighting with wooden swords and protecting a specific part is not his specific way of fighting, so So what would be easier to fight? Someone who is skilled like him? Or someone that is a complete wild card and you have no idea what they're going to do? Kind of like Kagura. But he isn't... 
hitting the uh, the dish. Does he know how to swim? He ripped his clothings. Well, and made a massive hole in the bridge. Not sure which is more important. Impressive. <laughs> Do you have a light for that smoke? Nice. It was a trap. Reattach it. It's a trap. Well, at least he didn't go for the nut shot. That much I'm pleased about. How many one-ups are they going to have over each other? I now imagine it's going to cut to something stupid. So, ah, oh, now the fight truly begins. But he's passed out or something. Retying it. Mm -hmm. Put, put, put you, put your glasses on. I, I, I've I been thrown through a loop due to his unusual facial characteristics. Is... Are we going to get any more... Um... Any other fights in this episode, or just this one? Also, is, yeah, we haven't really shown any hindrance because of the size or weight of the... ...bowl. Hmm. Well, he can't, won't, can't move if he's constantly under attack. But all it would take is... Um, one reversal of his sword there. Sweep it out of the way and he can parry. Or repost, or whatever the word is. Is he also lulling him into a false sense of knowing what his style is? He should be able to see the movement of the water, though, and you'd be slowed because, you know, have you tried wading through water? And why is it always, I, I don't know if I said it in the last one, but in these kind of fights, 
it's always two opponents who have similar styles. We saw the brute force of Kagura and that big guy. We saw these refined styles of these two. It's his fight. <laughs> Once he's lost, then you can step in, but... <laughs> the way that they hold their... Their skill and their honour, yeah, it would be bad to step in at this moment. Is this the, um, can't remember the name. So they were easy to take down. Numbers doesn't mean you're going to win. Especially if you're changing the way of how to actually combat it. But there is a limit. And that's quite a damage to the roof. You could feasibly probably take on five people by yourself easily if you're skilled. But surrounded with 20 or plus? As, unless you're in films where they all do that whole standing around in the background waiting for their turn, yeah, you're going to be taken out easily. Well, keep trying until you build up calluses on your hands. Um, just don't sharpen the end of that log. <laughs> I should have expected he, uh... He kind of, uh, flaunted the rules slightly. So did the rivalry begin back at this dojo? dojo? I don't mean condo, I mean the, uh, the short one. The, the one with the rocket launcher, that guy. <laughs> He went back to challenge them. Why do they have to be so obstinate? He got quite a lot of air, air time. So even though he didn't practice 
just by uh, watching the training, he took it in. And then did he attack you for intervening? <laughs> Hence the uh, precautionary tale to Shinpachi about not joining in. I don't think a foot is meant to bend that way. I'm trying to understand how that would cause the injury. I do like how they have changed their styles and how they look from when they were younger. I wonder how I'd be if you put a progression of showing how I've looked and changed throughout the years. Good strike. At least he got his uh, his much deserved after dinner smoke. And yes, the entire episode was dedicated to that one fight. So this is going to has it spanned two or three episodes now? And we've got Gintoki's side of the story to go, probably something about Otwe as well, and the Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Eyepatch Samurai story. So I'm guessing maybe three more episodes? Which would be quite, quite something, because it would make it this, I think, the longest overarching story that we've had so far. And... Actually, I can't say it because I don't know how many episodes the movie took. Since I did the movie, not the episodes, but still. Um, damn it, I opened my eyes too, so too soon. But we're learning a lot about characters that we've known for a while but haven't really been expanded upon. How big is this compound as well if they you can't hear the sound of battle or anything? Grandpa? Back of his neck. He's get. I was about to say because he was holding it like that. There's going to be a. Um. A betrayal. It might be the wrong word, but still. A learning. Strike. Oh, 
I almost got frightened there. I thought my recording wasn't actually recording. And with Gintama, we've seen some potentially devastating injuries before, haven't we? Gintoki himself has been skewered several times. But with... It begins with an S. Well, with his leg broken, is that going to actually carry over? So he's got to spend time recuperating from that injury, because that was a bad-looking break. And when you have a side disciplining their their own members to like that degree we saw, it usually ends in one of two ways. One, they single-handedly take out everyone else because they're so overpowered and strong to make a point. Or B, they lose because of their hubris. They are hoisted by their own petard. I'm not sure which way Gintama is going to go about it, but I do imagine I might it might subvert my expectations. And despite the skill that we are being shown, there is also the not insignificant chance that Gintama is going to put out some bullshit. And you know it's true. But I hope you're eagerly waiting that, because I know I am. If you want to take a break, you're more than welcome to. Make sure I see you for more. If you want to take a break, you're more than welcome to. Just remember, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know. But, with that said, I'll see you for more. If you want to be the future elements of my flashback when I might have actually gotten my life together and somewhat helped the channel, well then, head on over to Patreon, much like these amazing people here. And trust me, for all the support everyone has given me so far, it is definitely something that I will never forget. So to Florida Taku, Sal, Raywin, Aegis TR, Denimet1997, Lewis Almanza, Aisha M, Danny Chui, Daniel Jorgensen, ASD, Shiwan, and everyone else, thank you.